Hey guys, it's the History Nerd, and we're back with another episode of Civ 5 Venice. Yay! So, just a word to the wise, I'm still getting used to the new headset. However, after the feedback in the few video, I'm thinking that I can be a loud, obnoxious, normal me. Um, but like I did say, it is difficult for me to actually hear myself. So I'm not sure if I'm even, if I'm talking too loud or how it's sounding because of these wonderful noise canceling headphones, which I don't think I'll ever get again. Um, time will tell, but yeah, for now, that's me shaking my head. I'm not really a fan. Anyway. On with bigger and better things. So one thing that I just realized is that we've actually captured the Holy City for Confucianism, which is great because we're Confucius. So I don't know how that's going to help us, but it will because that's a Holy City. So suck it, Aztecs. Mine. Let's go ahead and click next turn. Sure. We'll even put your embassy in your city. So that, you know, you guys can still visit it. That'll be nice for you. Uh, one thing I do want to do is get one of my workers down up in this area, because there's still quite a bit to improve. Despite the fact that it was a capital region, there's lots of land that is left untouched. So let's get some workers down. And let's get that sorted. Now, one thing I do want to do is just get a little, a little bit of an exploratory fleet. Actually, that guy can go as well. Brilliant. Pikeman, eh? Hmm. And we still... Oh, no, we have solved an iron problem. How did we solve an iron problem? I guess through trade. That's the joy of, you know... Having it been a while since the last recording. I don't quite remember everything that was going on, but I'm sure it'll come back to me quick. Ah, I gotta get some workboats out on that side. We should get Genoa to uh, to purchase us some. Um, okay. You know, that's, that's fine. I can understand why you feel that way, Aztecs. Believe me, I understand. But, uh, it's a bit, a bit much, don't you think? And really, coming from the warmonger that the Aztecs were, I'm not sure many people are going to be concerned about my warmongering, because really, I just warmongered against them. Well, I guess uh, Haran al-Rashid there, he's a bit guarded, but Dido's still neutral, so that's good. We're not making too many enemies. So as per usual, I don't have much to discuss while well, this is going on. And the game's still at an early enough stage that um, there's not really much to plan out without having settlers to worry about. It's, uh, it's a bit of a different game. <laughs> and I don't think I've got any... Tra oh, maybe I've got a... Tra no, that's going to Kiev, right? What are our two trade routes? Vancouver and Kiev, yeah. Yeah, we can't really open it back up with the Aztecs. But I bet from here, we'd be able to send a couple more trade ships. So that might be something to consider. Not time, just ticking away. How are we doing? I haven't taken a look at this recently, so let's take a look at how we're doing. Yeah, I mean, it looks like we're we're definitely the most cultured on the continent. Are there any great works that we can get a hold of that we might need? Not, not really. At this stage, swapping the great works. Um, although I guess I do have Oxford and the Sistine Chapel. 
So we've got a Renaissance era work there. But I'd have to swap to get it, so I'd have to swap Chekhov's wonderful piece of writing. Yeah, I'm going to hold off on that. See, what would be nice is if you could pay an ex a fee of gold, uh, either a lump sum or through turns, to be able to get yourself some um, culture artifacts. I'd be okay with that. It would be a good way to make some money. Yay! Okay, so it looks like here, actually, Vancouver might have a mission that's right up our alley. Uh, as you can see, the leaders of Vancouver have been keeping an eye on the prosperity of other city-states and want you to help keep their rivals in check. If you demand any, tri tri any kind of tribute from Mambanza Congo, they will reward you. I wonder if conquering counts as tribute. Oh, look at that. Florence way down there, eh? Well, that's just lovely. Florence should also really come onto the, um, under the spell of Venice. <laughs> Actually, do they have anything worth forcing that? Sheep, farm, farm, desert. They might get some marble in the future. They do have pearls. Hmm. Something to consider. Although I don't really need to expand that much, do I? Pretty great work. And I'm not sure how Gustav Calabot there managed to paint a Paris street, where Venice doesn't even know if Paris exists. But hey, it's, it's, it's just a minor little quib quibble. Now we'll send them down there. So we'll keep a nice little fleet there and just have a couple of ships out exploring the great yonder. The great blue yonder, in fact. Now we got some money here to spend, don't we? Okay. How about a couple of work boats? Because really, if I'm going to get anything, I might as well get whales first before I get another source of food for Venice. Guten Tag, Fräulein. Ja. Wie geht's es Ihnen? How about some dyes for your cotton? Excellent. And how about some embassies? Oh, das ist gut, ja? Auf Wiedersehen. Kabul, Hanoi. Alright, so it looks like the Austrians are smack dab in the middle there. And they've got a wonderful warrior down there. That is indeed how we made contact. Yeah, one workboat around over there. And we'll purchase another workboat for them whales over there. I think that's it. Yeah, our workers slowly coming down to Teno Chitlin there. Just trying to figure out if it would actually be worth it to conquer the rest of the Aztecs. Because if it isn't, then I might as well nuke this road. Because right now that's just freaking gold wasted. There we go. Building up the Merchant Marine. Stand in the, stand in the field so I can see you when I need to. And the first place we're going to send you, little worker guy, is over there. But considering the amount of gold we're making, it's going to be a farm. I'd like to get this city up to a reasonable size. Obviously not as big as Venice, but, you know. 
Sorry, I was I was just grooving on the Buenos Aires music there. Pretty awesome. Thank you. The Venta and Barbarians. And we're going to build a farm there. And it looks like Genoa is building university. Good. Not before Venice. That's all I care about. Ooh, and the one thing I did want to check... Did we get a bonus? Renaissance, Renaissance. Um... Yes, Chapel of Venice of Renaissance Venetian Art. Lovely. So that's one of the nice little features that they added with those cultural things. I realize I'm talking like well after the fact, but one of the things that I do enjoy is the bonuses for you know related artifacts. And it does change as you like trade and get different ones in there. They'll get you different bonus modifiers. Ooh, Buenos Aires. Silver. Some farm. I mean, this might be a good spot to go. That would have a nice location on the... Why are you yellow? Uh, probably just sailed through their land. Get over it. We'll see if Dido... Oh no, she'll ask if we want to revisit that, and the World Congress is still not in session. Of course, printing press. Yes. Uh, we will investigate to see where the printing press is in the tech tree, and how close we are to actually being able to use it. Ah. Uh? Seven? Unacceptable. Okay, we'll go back to six then. That's fine. I was getting greedy. You caught me. Hey, a great writer. Great work of art, please. Bagpipes of Spain, ye that can sing, that which is sweetest to us in the spring. You first sing of gladness, and then sing of pain, as deep and as bitter as the billowed main. Well, that's a happy little poem. And we should... Oh, where did that go? Renaissance era, Renaissance era... Why don't we take that and put that there? No theming bonus, why not? Renaissance. Renaissance era stuff. Okay, maybe it needs a turn to settle that. And if it doesn't, apparently just having two works of great art from both eras isn't what you need. So we're going to rush the printing press, although I have a feeling someone else will get to it before us. But if we can get it, that'll get us an extra seat in the World Congress and will be super, super useful. Which is something I wish I'd been planning for a little bit earlier. Such is life, however. It seems like this trade ship isn't doing anything. Nope, it is. Okay. What's next for old Venice? Uh, actually, we need a work boat. And what are what are you what are you doing here? Trying to spread your faith? It's not very nice. Did he just he just reduce? Oh no, he didn't reduce the followers of Tino Chitlin at all. Thank you. Aha. Come out to play, did you? We'll just take care of that camp. Be 
because we can. All right, actually, what I should do is get this guy in and upgrade him. Ah, greetings, China. Wonderful. What will you give me for some whales? Two gold per turn and horses? I don't need that, thank you. Alright, so we know where China and Austria is, and it looks like the Chinese actually built the Great Wall. Look at that! Happy little circumstance there. Oh, we can upgrade to Long Swordsman, can we? It's kind of an expensive venture. We can just leave them there. Ah, it would be helpful to have some Long Swordsmen here. Oh, well, we should be able to take them, no problem. Let's see. Oh, plus three production in all coastal cities. I think that goes without saying as the best idea. What I am going to look at doing, though, is opening up a land trade route from here. And this could be a strategy I employ in future uh, continents, is just taking one city on the coast that's near a lot of other cities and using that as sort of a trade hub. And yes, ah, how's it going? Oh, look at this, okay. Whales for gems. That's a good deal. And give us silk, and we'll give you dyes, and now we can both have colored silk. This just works so great. There we go. Look at that. We're friends. Just like that. All right. Hopefully those go away. Excellent. They do. Um... A caravaner, a caravanissary? Not useful there, but I think a castle would be, or maybe a workshop. Maybe an aqueduct. Probably an aqueduct. Let's be honest, Venice needs some plumbing. There we go. And yeah, you can just stay there. We should have a wealth of places to trade now. Oh, and we do... Okay, before I go crazy up on that, I'll want to figure out a way, we'll go back to Kiev, but I want to get uh, Genoa here to be a bit more religious before I start trading with the other continent. And you can just stop there, because I don't think those have been used. And Mecca is going to be the best return on gold. So let's do that. Perfect. And we'll shell him again. And one last time. Beautiful. Don't mess with the Venetians. Uh, we will need to know. Get a missionary. There we go. Ah, look at that. Um, no, we have no interest in getting involved in your crazy escapades. Alright, Genoese labor force, you've got a thing to do now. With the recent conquest... Or I guess not conquest, but just claiming of that land. Go ahead and put a thing down. And you're a workboat, so how about some fishes? Okay. We'll do this smarter. We'll go that way. That way. That way. Perfect. 
And you, my good sir, can just hop on a boat and head that way. And spread your faith in Genoa so we can get some more trade going to this land. Salzburg. That'll be the next destination. It did say I could go to two Venetian cities. I don't believe Klagenfurt there. Oh, it might be. It might be in a little bay. And yeah, I've completely, completely ignored these cities now, other than Monaco. Uh, I'm really thinking that... What was my previous route to Vancouver? Is that still more profitable? No. No, it isn't. Samarkand is. As is Shikoya. Do they have anything I want? Ooh, jewelry. And where's Shikoya? Come on, go over. Is that... No, Hanoi and Shikoa. Why is Shikoa so high? Fur, mines, couple of fishies. Is it just distance? Not sure, really. Um... Yeah, let's go with some... well... See, the thing is, I like going to Vancouver because I like to pretend that that boosts our relations. It really doesn't, so I should just go for uh, Samaritan. We'll go that way. But that is hopeful because now it's certainly looking like I can get some more trade routes open and trading. They weren't all that profitable, though. Which is just a little bit of a concern for me. Yeah, we don't have enough money to upgrade our armed forces yet. Alright, just put you guys on alert. You can build a quarry there. Come on. We'll get you converted, don't you worry, Genoa. And that is indeed a harbor city, alright. So we've definitely discovered the new world. Let's take a look at how we're doing compared to them. And actually, we're not doing that badly. We're still behind uh, Dido and the Aztecs and China, but... Oh. And Siam. But we're ahead of Arabia and Austria, so, you know, that's not bad for one city that I control in two puppets. Really. It's, it's not bad at all. Alright, but that, that really doesn't seem like enough, especially if we're going to be trading with um, Buddhism, I think it is. So we'll just have to make sure Confucianism is nice and solid in Genoa. And we haven't expanded our borders in Venice anywhere. Really? And another one in Genoa. Okay. Yeah, you guys you guys can keep exploring. Yeah yeah. You've got all this stuff to say. Indeed. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. What's next for old Venice? I think a castle will be next for Venice. 
Indeed. Although that might not be the best bet. Let's go and start doing some more cargo ships. I think that'll be the better bet. So it looks like we're going to have to deal with the Vikings as well, or the Danes, would be the correct way to, to, uh, to call that group. Yay! Increasing our influence in Monaco, that's great. So at least we've got a friendly city down there. Oh, and we've gone completely full circle now. So it's just a matter of exploring this end of the map and finally discovering who that is. Looks like Siam entered the Renaissance era. But not by getting printing press, so that's good. Printing press shall possibly remain mine. Wonderful. Okay. I guess we can just hit a next turn there. Oh, poor Austria. I'd love to come to your aid, but I, I really don't think I'd be much help. Of course. Oh, he's got a soft spot for the Austrians. Okay. I gotta say, the two-pronged scouting worked incredibly well. Provided these guys don't turn around. Good. Although there is still just a little bit too much of the let's explore the polar region in the um, exploration AI, I find. I mean, do I really need to know? I, I guess the, the couple of city-states right literally at the edge. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't need to know about all the ice up here. Show me the continents first. That's all I care about. Okay, I bet we can make do with another cargo ship. And you will go to Shakoya. Probably horribly mispronouncing that town or city's name. If you are from there, a thousand apologies. Nice little galleons. Um, yeah, okay. I think that does actually increase trade and things, so that might not be a bad idea. Okay. And we finally met up two ships sort of passing in the night. I don't know, we're going to need to rig another election in Monaco, aren't we? Um, 
what are we sitting at? 61 out of 60. Give a gift of... I don't know. I don't... What? Okay, we'll just let it slide. We'll let it slide. Because I want to get some trade with Austria going. Alright, we got our little banana farm up there. So let's go ahead and make another little banana farm there. And... Who's shouting at me? You are... You can just sleep. There we go. Next turn. Alright, let's get that next farm on the go, or plantation to be using the technical term. Which is generally a better thing to do. Although I still like my wood choppy places and fishies. Habernatulish! <laughs> Okay. And now we can go ahead and purchase a cargo ship there. <laughs> oh, poor Austria. I might have to get a liberation war going on. Thank you. And that cargo ship will go to... Oh, we'll go to Vancouver. And we will get them to build a workshop. And that cargo ship can go to... the most profitable of Austrian cities. Let's see here. I think Salzburg would be the best. In fact, it'll be better than all the rest. Although Shanghai, man. Shanghai is a good city to go to instead. And we won't get any religious pressure back? The Chinese don't have a state religion? Oh yeah, okay. We'll do that. And then the next ship will go over to Austria. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Alright, well, that also seems like a good spot to leave the video. So, thumbs up if you've enjoyed this. Leave your comments, questions, concerns, thoughts, jokes, musings, what have you below. Thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.